Are we live? Indeed we are. Well, hello, hello, hello. And welcome to another episode of Live with Naz, Quarantining in Corona. Episode number 211. 211 people, Sarah, our wonderful Sarah, is here and she's going to open the door and welcome everyone in. Come on in, my friends. How are you? Thank you for joining us. This is a new time slot. We've always been at 8.30 p.m. at night, and after 211 shows, uh, just to co be considerate of the people in the East Coast and in the Central Coast and in Canada and in Dubai and in wherever people are watching, we're giving them a little bit of uh, a break. So we're starting at 7.30 to 8.30 instead of 8.30 to 9.30. So thank you for joining us. I'm so glad. Uh, let me see our friends who's can stay with us. Suzanne from Pennsylvania. I'm sure you are happy. We are giving you an hour early. Ellen Goodwin, how are you? Thank you, sir. Becky Ottenberry from Louisiana. How are you, my friend? Amy from Highland, California. Deborah Carter, welcome back. It's been a while. How are you? Elena Hemingway from California. Walmart greeter. I don't think you're a greeter. Are you a greeter or you work there? All right, Elena, and how are you? Hope your sister will join us. Michael Ramirez, my beautiful friend, how are you? Uh, and did you have a good birthday, Naz? Yes, I did. Actually, we had a long weekend, and on Saturday, me and Maha went to Fashion Island because it's open mall, and we celebrated alone. You know, at a, there was a restaurant that allowed us to have, you know, dinner there. And Maha bought me some clothes. Well, I picked them. She paid for them. It's always a good deal. And uh, then Sunday, uh, we couldn't leave the dog alone, but we ended up for about an hour and a half. We went to Tyler Mall. By Tyler Mall, there's a restaurant called, what you call it? Uh, Captain what? what it? It's something have to do with pirates. Pirates something. And they have one of those seafood stuff. Not seafood. Yeah, it's like, well, they dump the food on on your table and you eat it and you make a mess. And you just need napkins. And it just, it was okay. It was good to go out as a family again. And there was empty, actually. Like every two tables, there's a family. So it was far enough. To, so anyway, I enjoyed my birthday. And uh, thank you guys so much. Uh, for all the birthday wishes, I appreciate that. And let's see, Teresa's here. I'm sure Teresa's happy. Uh, Teresa, good to see you from Maine. All right, Sarah and Michael and everybody is coming back. Michael Ramirez and Amy. Tomorrow, COVID test at Kaiser Permanente, Palm Court in the morning. Uh, you already got your uh, COVID, right? You are beyond COVID. You're done with COVID, Amy. Martina's here. Good evening, everyone. Hello, Martina. And let's say who is a great deal. Lily Navas here. Lily, I'm glad you're here. I thought you'll still be at work. And uh, it's so good. Today, I'm turning 50 in three days. Well, happy early birthday. I'm, I'm trying to process. Don't process it. Keep going, Deva. Don't think about it. This is COVID year. It doesn't count from your life. I think God is going to give you a day, a year off. Um, okay, thank you for the colonoscopy. We know about it, Amy. <laughs> All right. My mom says hello to everyone. Hello, Miss Becky Voss. Okay. Here's my thought for the weekend. You know how when you get married or we, you know, if you're married, you go to the church or wherever and the priest or the pastor would say, uh, you know what? Uh, by the authority given to me from the state of California, for example, I now announce you husband and wife. But they stop there. Come on, pastors, if you're watching, listen to me. You've been giving authority by the state to announce people husband and wife, to make them husband and wife. Why do you stop there? You should practice or... You know what do you call it? Uh, use that authority all the time. You're at the mall, and you see two very unattractive people. You know, not because of anything, but sin. 
nothing, not their fault, not like they had sin in their life. They just don't fit together. And they're kissing and you say, by the authority, give me the state of California. Do not get away from each other. You're never going to get married. You see a couple fighting at the mall, a husband and wife fighting at a restaurant. You, you get in there, yes. By the authority giving to me in the state of California, you two shut up, stop fighting. You see a woman at Louis Vuitton counter buying like two bags and she's like giving the credit card. You take that credit card said by the authority giving to me by the state of California and MasterCard, I will not allow you to buy this. You're gonna get a fight with your husband when you get home. You see a couple at a restaurant and the woman is talking and the man is on his phone. You come and snatch the phone from him and said, by the authority given to me by the state of California and Verizon Wireless, you should pay attention to your wife. And last but not least, if you're a man watching the game, you know, you can come by the authority given to me by <laughs> the state of California and Comcast Cable. We need to change this to the Hallmark Channel where your wife can watch with you. Boom. This is where you practice your authority, pastors, not just on wedding day where the, the bride tells you what to wear. Like some of you wear these, you know, their robes. You know your denomination doesn't wear robes. You're just wearing robes and looking pretty. And then uh, the bride will add some Bible verses that's not in the Bible. Uh, you go, you can't read that. We'll say it anyway. It's my wedding, okay? And hurry up. The limo driver's on overtime right now. All righty, this is my thoughts for the day. Hey, Naz from Catching Up, Wisconsin. How are you, Mr. Matthew Dirks? Ellen Goodwin, wherever it is, praying for you. Uh-oh, Rita's here. Hello, Rita from Utah. Good to see you guys. This is good, good. Welcome back. All right, it was good that you guys are cracking. Uh, okay, let's see. Happy early birthday, Martina. Yes. Okay, so last uh, Friday, I asked you the question. I said, give me another name for Disneyland. But what happened is you guys not only gave me another name for Disneyland, some of you gave me some funny rides that should be at Disneyland. <laughs> so I divided them. So these are not in any order of like what's funny or not. Here's another name for Disneyland. The Vaxiest Place on Earth. Walt Ward. Ditsyland. The unhappiest place on earth. Drain your wallet, like Walt. Uptight theme park. Overpriced and underwhelming. COVID country. Goofy Palooza. Dis <laughs> Dismaland. Overpriced and underpaid cast members. Dizzyland, side effects from the vaccine. The land of endless lines. California misadventure. <laughs> Lose your children in 30 seconds. Heartbreak Park. Frozen Vaccine 3. <laughs> the flu by you. The place where childhood trauma begins. Okay. And then you guys gave me some new rides at Disneyland. Here's some new, new rides at Disneyland, people. Snowflakes and the Seven Jerks. <laughs> Those are not in any order. They're all funny. The Many Adventures of Winnie the Flu. <laughs> 20,000 leaks under the sea. Trash Mountain. <laughs> Aladdin's Homeland Security <laughs> Checkpoint. Malice in Wonderland. COVID Rail. Dumbo rides off into the sunset. Pirates of the <laughs> Pirates of the Customers. Tinkerbell's Tinkerland. <laughs> Indiana Jones and the Lost Children. <laughs> Peter Pandemic's Flight. Never Tomorrowland, <laughs> Spaced Out Mountain, Millennial Fauci, <laughs> Mr. Newsom Soaring Over California, Mickey's Man Cave, Alice in Empty Land, Tantrum Train, and Monorail of Broken Dreams. Alrighty. Well, guys, do you know today, before we start, uh, today is National Popcorn Day? Therefore, my beloved Maha just made some popcorn. So we're going to enjoy. If you, if you have time to do some popcorn and join us, why not? It's popcorn day. All right. So here's our first question for the night. And it came from Rita. 
Give me the worst name for a plastic surgeon's office. Worst name. Worst name for a, a plastic surgeon's, surgeon's office. <laughs> I think you guys are going to have a fun with that one. It is National Popcorn Day. Goofy, goofy duck house, right? I still like my bad parenting on display. Never tomorrow. <laughs> uh -oh, why am I eating? Yep. Let's watch sports together. Don't change the channel. <laughs> no, not the Hallmark channel. No, it's worse than Baby Shark songs, is it? Hey, Naz from Catch. Alrighty, let's see. Hello, 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 Lonnie. How are you? Thank you for joining us, brother. Give us the worst name for a plastic surgeon's office. Worst name for a plastic surgeon's office. Nice, yummy popcorn, but I'm still working. Oh, Martina. Where do you work? Pick your part. <laughs> That's a good one, Elena. Pick your part. Nez, when will you have Mickey Mouse on the show again? That's right. We had him on show number three or four. Good job, Michael. Not the face you expected to see. <laughs> Pick your part. Ugly tummy tuck office. <laughs> Good one, Amy. Dr. Fat Saka. <laughs> John Rivers' last stop. Oh, that's good. Uh, yes. And old is not beautiful. Uh, blessed from Rita, too. <laughs> John Rivers' last stop. Shine your stitches. <laughs> Dr. Boo talks. Bo talks. Dr. Bo talks. <laughs> That's funny. Not responsible for outcome. <laughs> Mannequin faces. Right. Financial services and education. Tummy tuck and suck. <laughs> Dolly, pardon me. <laughs> you guys are on. That's funny. Mannequin faces. Dolly, pardon me. Stitch. Stretch arm surgeon's plastic surgeon's office. Stretch arm. Under the knife. Eat popcorn for me, everybody. Alrighty. That's right. You're only on liquids. Dali, are you enjoying your popcorn? Yeah. Why am I eating? I shouldn't be eating while doing the show. Snooty patooty. <laughs> Two face, that's good. Eat popcorn for me. Yes, we did. Under the knife, of course. Multiple faces for your multiple personalities. <laughs> Third eye plastic surgery. <laughs> Lip swellers. <laughs> good one, Teresa. Saggots. <laughs> good one, Alan. That's funny. Saggots. Dr. Mickey Mouse plastic surgeon. <laughs> oh. Thursdays is like okay. Oh, it's Thursday. Butcher's block. Lose a nose. <laughs> Lose a nose. Surgeon's face off. <laughs> like a surgeon cutting for the very first time. Thank you, Madonna. <laughs> Express list. <laughs> okay. Express less. that means your face is good. That is hilarious, Elena. That is hilarious. You know, because you know how when they pull their faces back? I think the funniest joke joke, which I normally, I will never do joke jokes in my act, but the funniest joke joke I heard is about plastic surgery is this woman is gets in an accident. She's badly hurt. She's in the, uh, in the room in a hospital room and she's praying she said god is this it am i gonna go now is it my time and somehow just heard the lord said no you got another 15 years she goes wow i got another 15 years on this earth so she told the surgeon can you guys do like you know some facelift you know botox lip uh, you know uh fix my lips get implants everything and they did all this plastic surgery on her and when she was done and she was healed, 
the day she left the hospital, she's walking down the street and boom, gets hit by a bus. And she gets to heaven and goes, Lord, I thought you said I have 15 more years. And God said, oops, I didn't recognize you. <laughs> Boom. That's an exaggeration right there. Expressionless forever. Lipo, lipo, lipo. <laughs> lipo for the hip, hypo, hippo. <laughs> That's a long name for an office. Where are you going? Where did you get your facelift? Hi Lipo for the hippo, <laughs> hypo, hippo. Frozen face, yes. We can empty or fill you up. Frozen in time, right. Drug out plastic surgery office. Smiles are overrated. <laughs> You're not the person you used to be, that's right. Bo bow toxicity plastic surgery. Plastic surgery, you're half the man you used to be. <laughs> Mickey, Donald, and Goofy Plastic Surgery, Inc. Skin pins. <laughs> Ouch. Your birthday suit needs to be ironed. <laughs> we turn those frowns upside down. <laughs> You've lost all your feeling, not just the loving feeling. <laughs> Deborah, reduce, reuse, recycle, Dr. Frankenstein. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, once in our office, forever on the ugly page. <laughs> you guys are funny. All right. Extreme seam. <laughs> Choose your spot. That's funny, guys. Extremes. <laughs> oh. Well, let's see. L.A. Dreams, of course. Identity. Th <laughs> Good one, Amy. Identity theft face surgery. You can look like a famous person. That is funny. That is funny, Amy. That's funny. Oh, uh, caution may melt under intense heat. <laughs> hey, Mr. Awesome, Timothy Fakhouri is here. Expandix. <laughs> oh, oh, that's funny. Scarface and more. <laughs> I'm melting. <laughs> sanitize, that's right, ladies and gentlemen. We said sanitize and we have Teresa, so we have no excuse right now. Guys, I'm waiting for the miracle. Remember the miracle? After show 100, it was empty, then somehow it would not empty. I don't know if my faith is lacking, but uh, this is almost empty, so I might have to refill it. That's uh, flesh speaking, but I'll do An emoji, <laughs> yeah, emoji plastic surgery. 24 hour plastic surgery. Going up, feeling faster. Going up, falling faster. Maybe feeling faster. Body shop rebuild. That's right. I will fill it tomorrow. Thank you, baby. <laughs> Plastic surgery and a funeral service. <laughs> we suck. That's funny. We suck. Lipo suck. Tim's discount Botox on barbecue. <laughs> drive through plastic surgery. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Hey, Tally. Mm -hmm. Do you know what plastic surgeons do? Yeah. So what would be a good name? Oops, I dropped the metal. Oops, I dropped the metal. All right. Let's see, what is that? How about the, the, oh shoot, what am I blank? The, the witness protection <laughs> surgery, a plastic surgery. Witness protection program. Do it yourself, plastic surgery. Be a, c a copy, not an original. Thank you, Jen. Suck and take your buck. <laughs> Good one, baby. One-stop plastic surgery. Gone in 60 seconds. 
Put your money where your mouth <laughs> is in our office. <laughs> Put your money where your mouth is. It's in our office. <laughs> Good one, Teresa. Dent and filler repair. I give you a new look, you give me a new boat. <laughs> That's right. We've only been sued 16 times. Oh, man. I spy. <laughs> Body parts and beyond. That's good. Paper, paper bag surgery. Filled faces and empty bag accounts. Community college. <laughs> Community college plastic surgery. Oh, and one stop body stop repair, body shop repair. In one stop body shop repair. Wow. All right, popcorn time. Uh oh. Why is this so thing? Honey, you missed the spot. Mm -mm. <laughs> Community college, one stop. Uh, you you won't recognize yourself. Bath and Body Works. You're on tonight, baby. Where's the other eyebrow, America? <laughs> Where's the other eyebrow, America workers? Tammy Face, Eternity Face Surgeon. Uh, Tammy, F Tammy Faith, Etern <laughs> Eternity Faith Surgeon. <laughs> Remember Tammy Faith? Hello. Jesus loves you. Possibly unlicensed plastic surgeons. <laughs> is your, po yeah, it is. One of them is molding, but I've never had a molding popcorn. You droop, we scoop. <laughs> You droop, we scoop. <laughs> you lift me up. Oh, good. <laughs> Looks like your favorite cartoon character. <laughs> Missing parts, plastic <laughs> surgery. Oh, man. American <laughs> girl doll. <laughs> That's right. Plastic surgery in a bottle. <laughs> hey. My other half said, what do I see when I look in the mirror? I said, awesomeness, of course. Of course, Timothy. What else would they see? <laughs> oh, you don't even have to look in the mirror to see awesomeness. You can look on your computer screen right now and see awesomeness. How about that? The surgical office of Plas and Tick. Plas and Tick, get it. Selling butter cubes. <laughs> we make you a faker. Jesus Martinez plastic surgery. We raise your face from the dead. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh. uh, get your plastic surgery at Walmart. <laughs> right. The new you broke. <laughs> Free renovations and remodels. Hot beef, fat injections. A lady actually did that to herself and died. <gasps> Hot beef, fat injections. Wow. She injected herself with, with beef fat and died. Of course. Butter recycle, <laughs> recycler, laminate flooring. <laughs> Perky placements. <laughs> Perky placements. Laminate flooring. Nothing you see is real. Vanity, vanity, all is vanity. <laughs> yeah, that's a Christian plastic surgeon. Vanity, vanity, all is vanity. <laughs> 
Lift and separate. <laughs> that sounds like an exercise. <laughs> Rhinoplasty. Turn Republicans into real men. Rhino. Uh, we've got more plastic than a recycling plant. Hey, Jack Cathars Jr., how are you? Love you too, man. Thank you so much. Give us the worst name for a plastic surgery office. Five-inch padding. <laughs> <laughs> Fix beauty, but not personality. Oh, man, that's funny. Plastic surgery and discount beef jerky. No jobs will <laughs> no jobs will hire. Reject repair. Huh. Pinocchio's rhino <laughs> Pinocchio's rhinoplasty. <laughs> Home Depot plastic surgery, right. Mahan's mind is on flooring today. <laughs> New face, but you can't open your iPhone anymore. <laughs> That's right. You know, my phone doesn't recognize it sometimes. And I remember, I'm like, how come it's not? Like, I can't recognize it. And said, oh, I have my mask on. Refill and reshape. Putty in our hands. <laughs> Speckle shop. <laughs> I can't believe it's not butter. <laughs> it's hot beef. Uh, what do you call it? Fat. <laughs> I can't believe it's not butter. All right. Another. Come on. We're in California. Where are you? Plastic surgeons. Yeah, Dr. Jezebel Plastic Surgery. Saran Wrap <laughs> Plastic Surgery. Saran Wrap Yourself Without a Doctor. Like on Green Fried Tomatoes <laughs> Movie. Duct Tape Masters. Good one, Becky. Confused Doctors. Elder Plastic Surgery. Bladders Reunited. Beyond repair. <laughs> One more popcorn for the road. Second hand injections. Minimal bruising. <laughs> Minimal bruising after the 10th week. <laughs> Fix the flat. Fryer nip and tuck. Do anyone remember that great movie? Oh, Green Tomatoes? What is it called? Uh, Green Fried Tomatoes. I did not watch it, but I heard so much about it. Fix the flat. <laughs> Hello, is this your face? <laughs> is this your face you're looking at? You're looking for? Hello? Is this your face you're looking for? Is that Lina Ritchie? Corona vaccine. <laughs> Old Dan Tucker. <laughs> face off service. Services. Face off services. The secret is in the sauce. The Nancy Pelosi tuck. Fried green tomatoes. Yes. Strange side effects <laughs> are us. Strange side effects are us. Alien creations. Phase one versus phase two. <laughs> Can't face it anymore. <laughs> Can't face it anymore. Plastic surgery office. Remember that show you used they used to do on TV where they can like extreme makeover 
where they took people who were not attractive and they did surgery to make them look good. After a while, people got mad. <laughs> I'm like, what are you doing to, try to that? What are you, why, what, what's your, why would you consider people unattractive and then you fix them? So they canceled the show. Face off. <laughs> Phasers set to stun. Two faces are better than one. You'll never feel your face again. <laughs> All right. Are you guys ready for another question? Well, let's see. Another question. Here we go. The second question for the night. Do we have? Oh, it's 8.01. I forgot. We're early today. Chain, chin repair. <laughs> yes. I hope you like your new faces. Extreme makeover that show. Balloon therapy. I still haven't found the face I'm looking for. Okay. The second question. Give me... What do you say to someone tailgating you? The other day, this person was just tailgating, just behind my back, in my car, and he just right into my bumper the whole time. What do you say to that? What do you say to someone tailgating you? Okay, here you go. And of course, before you think of the answer, you need to sanitize. I love having Teresa with us. Okay. I need this popcorn is killing me. Okay, I'm back in the game. Oh, that's a nice back, Tally. Tally, this is more than tailgating. This is, <laughs> this is more. This is really kissing. <laughs> nice. Okay, here you drive. <laughs> Get married. <laughs> ah, trying fast, trying to find your face in the world. I like you just the way you are. Those are still. For the plastic surgery, no Botox, my migrainers, migraines here, Botox, migraines, monster plastic surgery, you scare everyone now, Clone Wars, <laughs> good, good one, Jen, droopy drawers, <laughs> okay, here we go, what do you say, here, you drive, I would step on my brakes a few times on him or her, right, start playing Baby Shark l really loudly, Exhaust fumes are bad for your engine. Uh, why are you so attracted to my rear? <laughs> Time to cash out insurance claim. <laughs> hey, Rocky. Rocky Batarsa, how are you? Good to see you, man. Let us know where you're at, city and state. Thank you for joining us. I got a mother-in-law and I know how to use her. What do you say to someone who's tailgating you? <laughs> Drive slower. It says a million words. Where are your headlights? Someone to taught me this. It's mean, so don't do it. Like if someone is driving, tailgating you, you quickly push those emergency, what do you call it, those uh, emergency flashlights? Push them real quick on and off, and it shows like you pushed your brake, but you didn't. But they think you did, and they pushed their brakes. Where are your headlights? Do you really want to pay for rear ending me? Great. I could use a new car plus pain and suffering, right? Back off. I'm on Cobra. <laughs> okay. Uh, you got to buy me dinner first. <laughs> did you see me trying to find your face in this world? Do you like my rear end? <laughs> Six feet distance, please. Are you a break dancer? <laughs> I'm good, my brother. 
Highland, California. All right, Rocky. We got Amy in Highland, California. So we got two Highland fans here. Good. Thank you for joining us. Um, <clears throat> so you weren't allowed to watch the game, huh? <laughs> Hazard lights. Oh, that's what they call them. Hazard lights. Follow me on my way to church. Right. I already <laughs> had a colonoscopy. I love Suzanne. Suzanne walks like borderline, borderline. She know, <laughs> you know, our show is like all clean, but Suzanne just walks it like that. <laughs> I love it. You're so funny, Suzanne. Jin, do you like the Packers? Is that why you're trying to tailgate? I know. What? What, Jen? Why did you guys beat the Rams? Why? We're in L.A. We needed that. I know we got the Lakers and we won that, but we got the Dodgers and we won that. We we're going to like finish it with the Rams, but boom. You can't mess with Aaron R Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers, he's good. Suzanne, always on the border. <laughs> Do I know you? Looks like you may be interested in Amway. <laughs> Death Wish 6. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like my license plate is in braille. <laughs> oh, man. No, do I know you? <laughs> what did the Cowboys win again? What did the Cowboys win again? Is that why you're tailgating me? I love... I live around the corner from... Starbucks on base. What are you giving them your address, Amy? You know, where's my alimony check? <laughs> I promise we will end up as Walmart at the same time. Yeah, so don't have, are you interested in essential oils? <laughs> That's funny. How did you guys like the podcast today? Man, it was amazing. I wasn't, you know, I don't talk much to Kathy. And we were doing the whole podcast and just talking about her career and life, and then that's the last, after an hour, we're ready to close the show. And she's talking about, you know, she was a victim of uh, abuse, uh, you know, uh, domestic abuse. And boom, that took the conversation in a whole different direction, and I'm glad it did, because, you know, the whole goal from Laughter Falls to help people. So it was really nice, really awesome. I'm enjoying this podcast, really enjoying just f learning about people and finding. I'm learning so much from these shows. I hope you're enjoying them. If you didn't have the chance, check it out today on our, you know, Laughter for All podcast. It's here on the Facebook page. But you can watch. We have 70 shows. And we had people from models to Mr. America to Mrs. America to... Uh, celebrity make makeup personalities. We had a funeral home director. We had uh, comedians. So many comics. We had uh, you know model. We had uh, an atheist. We had uh, different people. Different people. Lee Strobel is going to be with us next month. I'm trying to get few people, uh, more people to to be on the show let me know who you would like to see on the show and i will i will see if we can reach out to them i'm trying to get greg laurie and uh, uh what's his name from focus on the family jim daly and uh jeff foxworthy those would be people uh you know brian regan all these guys i'd like to get them on the show so and you know me when i put my mind into something it's gonna happen I don't take no for an answer. I, my family knows one thing in our home. You know, you never give up. You never ever give up. Here's a proof. We're on show number 211. We don't give up. Are you expecting to win the lottery? <laughs> if I can read all my bumper stickers. If you can read all my bumper stickers, you're close to my car. Amy's on tonight. I feel like sneezing. Back up. Great podcast. I watched later. Good. What a godsend. Can you help me with my rattlesnake? <laughs> Love the podcast today. Thank you, Sarah. Did you know you could save 15% by switching to Geico? God has a wonderful plan for your life. What bumper sticker not large enough? 
What? The bumper sticker's not large enough? No, that's funny. <laughs> okay, let's see. You look the right size for my trunk. <laughs> you look the right. <laughs> Have a great day, an awesome week in Jesus' name. Thank you, Timothy. Thank you for joining us. If you get any closer, you might accidentally get spray paint all over your windshield. Right. Hit me. It's paid for. <laughs> Keep me in your prayer, please. We will, Timothy. Let us know what happened with that case. The subpoena, the whole thing. Did you know what color my eyes are? <laughs> Do you know what color my eyes are? <laughs> Don't say anything. Just blast opera. Opera music. Do you like my hairs? <laughs> okay, it is now time for the Guinness Book of World Records. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're new to us, every night, every weeknight, our show at 7.30 now, Pacific Time, we ask you a question. And you have to make three guesses for your answer. Please don't look it up. Please don't ask Siri or Alexa or don't Google it. Just for fun. And what do you win? This wonderful keto diet toilet paper. Normal toilet paper are overweight, but this one has been on the keto diet for about two days. And look at it. So you win this. Hey, not much, but hey, when you need it, when you don't have it, it's worth a lot. Here we go. So today is popcorn day. So, uh, Here's a question. I'm in a, bad, a crazy mood today. Not in a bad mood. I'm a great. Never been in a bad mood. The largest box of popcorn was created in Cineplex International in Croatia in 2011, with a volume of how many cubic feet? According to the Guinness Book of World Record, the container was filled in one hour and 57 minutes. They filled the container. How many cubic feet? was the volume of that largest box of popcorn. It is over a thousand and under five thousand and it's an odd number. Over a thousand under under five thousand and you have three guesses. Go for it. <laughs> Let me go a little slower. Now that you got so close to me, I can share my COVID with you, right? Are you looking to me, Jesus? 86 and a half. <laughs> what? Am I not going slow enough for you? Let's just be friends. <laughs> Here's your glasses. I found them. <laughs> hey, you hit me. I'm going to sue you for big time money. Leave some room for Jesus. Slow down, you move too fast, you gotta make the moment last. <laughs> Nearer, my God, to the. <laughs> Even an odd number. It's an odd number. Why are you driving like you're about to donate an organ? <laughs> Suzanne said 2343. Suzanne said 1677. Amy said 1555. Lonnie, <laughs> 1287 for Teresa. 39.87 for Suzanne, 35.55 for Amy, 23.75, 45.31, and 39.73 for Jack. Mm. Last night I prayed before sleeping and my other half caused me, uh, cussed me out. Ooh, I'm sorry, man. Keep praying. I'm doing laundry while listening. <laughs> All right. Let's keep it clean, buddy. If you're doing laundry... Got to watch what you say. You got to keep it clean. <laughs> Just kidding. 2833, 3652, 4103 for our hardworking Lily. 3889 for Amy. Any closer and we'll have to get married. <laughs> 3333, 4445, 2223 for Rita. Matthew said 3333. Give me the TP. <laughs> I'm headed back to my parole officer. Want to come? <laughs> 2021, 33, 33, and 4759 for Sarah. 1869 for Teresa. Uh, Jen said 1357. Hmm. 
Elena said 1789, 1889, and 1999. All right, Elena. What are we dating now or something? <laughs> are you stalking me or something? <laughs> and break my car. All right, it's time to sanitize, right? Teresa is reminding us right now. Time to sanitize. Martina said one 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 one. Keep them coming. Yep, right, Teresa. Ten twenty nine for Martina. Time to sanitize. Eighteen seventy seven for Teresa. And did every bit. The rooster said one 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 two 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 one three 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 one. Good job, Mr. Rooster. I'm no longer angry at you after my birthday. Are we all did we all guess? Mr. Batarsa, did you guess? Who else? Maha. One question, who's leading this dance? <laughs> Thirty seven fifty seven for Becky. All righty. All right, here comes a sold. All right, here's the answer. Becky Altenberry, 1799. Please don't follow me. I'm driving to crazy town. Michael said 3411. The rooster wants to know why you were angry at with him in the first place. <laughs> All right, sold. 3373 for Becky Altenberry. 4666 for Maha. Two more guesses, baby, and then I'll give you guys the answer. Quick. I don't know why my wife has the number 666 in every answer. Can you tell me how to get to Sesame Street? Okay. I'm giving the answer right now. The largest box of popcorn was created by Cineplex International. Mahasay 166. In Croatia in 2011 with a volume of 1,857 cubic feet. And the winner is... Teresa. Teresa is our winner because she guessed two numbers that were very close. Elena came close too, but 1869 was the closest number. So, Teresa, here you go. Another win for you, young lady. Welcome back to the show, and now you can, do, you can sleep a little early because we start a little earlier. All righty. Yes, Teresa just got out of... Wait. Bulldozing... In Bulgaria. Oh, it's Art. He was bulldozing in Bulgaria. He's in San Marcos. Just got out of a deacon's meeting. All righty. Welcome, Art. Welcome. Thank you for joining us. Did you get a haircut for your birthday? Actually, no, I did not. I haven't had a haircut in a long time. I just used my, uh, my trimmer on here. <laughs> Congratulations. Teresa has won the toilet paper. Way to go. How did George Jefferson get to be a deacon? <laughs> I'll take it. Yes, Teresa, my, my brain. <laughs> Thank you, Martina. <laughs> I, uh, as, as opposed to wipe left, I don't know, Karen's son, anyway. All right. So, keep asking, answering the question. Um, what do you say to someone tailgating? No, no, let me ask you this question. Huh. Or should I save it for tomorrow? I'll save it for tomorrow. So what do you say to someone tailgating you? Back off top speed on this scooter is five miles per hour. Rosetti, how are you? Good, we're getting our friends back. Because we're starting an hour early, so some of them have to adjust their timing. <laughs> Make sure that doesn't that TV doesn't have any splinters or use. <laughs> oh, no, you must have showered then, Naz. Yes, I always shower. Always. Cat and son. Cat and son. Anyway. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Sarah. Art here. <laughs> Somewhere in the house. Son, do that. 
Sandor dashing. Oh, look, a bad driver. <laughs> I want to make a proctologist joke, but I won't. <laughs> Thank you, Suzanne. <laughs> Since we have Amy having a colonoscopy in a few days, we don't want to. <laughs> Do I know you? Right. Time to deploy the spike strips. Right. Did you see my hazard lights, dude? My bike can't go <laughs> any faster. Sorry. <laughs> That's funny. You guys are funny. All right. My dental appointment is February 3rd. Thank you, Amy, for the updates. Sorry I'm late. I had a voiceover meeting. That's good, man. Hope you get the job. You have a great... Chris Rosetti has a great voice, guys. And... Uh, speaking of voices... Um, if you like my books are on Audible and in on Amazon. If you need one of my books, they're on Audible and on Ama Amazon. And uh, if you have Audible and you can't afford my book, just let me know. I'll send you the code for free. Just being nice because I love you people. And I appreciate you. I appreciate you being on the show every night. So if you want my book in Audible, I'll send you. I'll send you the, what do you call it? The code, if you want to read the book and you don't want to spend any money, let me know. I'll send you the PDF file for free. Just trying to help. Pray for my daughter and as we both start spring semester at City College of San Francisco. Oh, good. Thank you. You're taking classes together. That is awesome. Is it you reading it? No, Crystal Leffler, she's here. Hello, Crystal. No, I had I hired a guy, a person who's a professional. Uh, I didn't know. I forgot about Rosetti at the time. But uh, I paid a professional uh, guy from Audible uh, to read it. He did a great job. I mean, with me reading it, it was just going to be a lot of fixing and um, perfection, trying to fix it. I said no, so. But anyway, I'm nervous about tomorrow, meeting morning about COVID tests. Pray for me. We're praying for you, Amy. Remember, it's 822, 823 is when we start asking for prayer requests. So let's do that. If you need any prayers, just let us know right now. We'll pray for you. And we do pray for you. Actually, this morning, I prayed for all of you that I remember to pray for you. I, I prayed for Bobby. I prayed for... Uh, Sarah, I prayed for different people that was on our show. Chris Rosetti, I'm studying acting. My daughter is in her third year studying Japanese. Wow, third year studying Japanese. That is awesome. She can get a job at South Coast Plaza in Southern California anytime for big money. There's a lot of Louis Vuittons and all these nice fancy places. And South Coast Plaza in Costa Mesa, California has the highest number of Japanese tourists that come and buy very expensive stuff. So, here's here you go. Here's a job, automatic job. Pray for those seeking jobs. Are we well, Crystal? Crystal, I know you. You need a better job than Tim Horton, so we'll be praying for that. Nez, I sent you a link. Okay, good. Domo arigato, Mr. Roboto. <laughs> so then, so, so knowledgeable. Pray for me. I will be preaching this Thursday in Chowchella, California. All right, man. We'll be praying for you, Lani. May the Lord give you the right words. The Holy Spirit give you the right words and the timing and the humor. Thank you, Nez, for having a clean Christian show that we can be part of praying for family relationships and COVID-positive people. Yes, we're praying for all the people that have COVID that to be healed and spoken for Sarah. Hey, guys, I have. I, I, let me throw this at you. I, I developed a friendship with a, with a guy in a foster. He was in a foster home, but he's like, right now, he's older. He's 23, I think, or 22. So he has to leave. So he's staying in a hotel. 
So if anybody knows a place where he has a, a room for rent or a place, a roommate, they need a roommate, or you have a big house that you have a room, an extra room, would you let me know, please? Anywhere in like Corona, Ontario, that area, Rancho Cucamonga, uh, Eastvale, Norco, let me know. The guy is really, I mean, when you're a foster child, they had a, a hard time and then you have to move on your own and do all that. It's hard. So let me know. May God touch the life that he wants to and that the devil gets out of the way. Amen. Well, mostly clean. <laughs> Pray regarding White House. If Oh, yes. Pray for our nation tomorrow, guys. I don't know what's going to happen. I have no idea. I'm praying for everything to be to go peaceful. And remember, as Christians, our hope is in Jesus, not in a president. He's our Savior. Nobody else is. We weren't promised anything to be not to be corrupted on this earth. A lot of things we should expect corruption. If 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 people think it's all corrupted, expect that. If people think we're gonna have a new era and God is in control of who the president's gonna be and the hearts of the, are the kings are in the hands of the Lord, you know what? Then yes. So let's just pray. That's our job as Christians. Let's pray. Pray. For our nation. This is a great nation. This is a wonderful nation. There's so many Bibles come out of our nation. There's so many missionaries that went out of this country. So let's pray for them. We help so many people. Uh, our hospitals, you know, we're helping people all over the world. So please keep our nation in prayer, especially for tomorrow. You might not agree with the with the you know, the results of the election, God is in control. I'm not passive. Jesus wasn't passive, but he didn't get involved in all the Romans. I mean, Romans were occupying. He didn't go and protest against the government ab about removing the Romans. He didn't do that. He said, my kingdom is not of this world. We are in the kingdom of God, and we pray for God's will to be done. Amen? That's just my, I can't be too theologi theological with popcorn in my hand. It just doesn't work. But today I was in the Word and I was, of course I'm in Matthew 24, we're talking about the last days, but this, the verse is, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not into your own understanding but in all your ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct your path. This is, I've been putting a Bible study for tomorrow for the man, and this is the main point of view. Trust in the Lord. You know what? Something happens, you rush into taking action, you react fast. No. Trust in the Lord. You know, you got a problem right away. You call a friend. Oh, you call people. Uh, you know, we need help with this. We need to do this. We need to do that. We need trust in the Lord. Lean not on your own understanding. You know, oh, whatever goes my way, I can handle it. I got everything under control. I can cover any problem. And when it comes, boom, I'm ready to react. Trust in the Lord. Lean not on your own understanding. Acknowledge him. And he shall direct your path in his timing. So easy to say, so difficult to do. So difficult to just wait on the Lord. Lean not on what you think should be done, but acknowledge him. He will direct your path. Amen. I love you guys. Thank you for joining us in this you know, early, this is our first time going early at 7.30. We're going to continue and see how that goes. And uh, it's so good to see some of our friends and are back, still on the show. That's good. So we'll see you tomorrow night. Invite your friends. Now, the show's not that late, so invite your friends to watch with us. Lonnie came on Instagram Live with me last week, and we broke the Internet together. That's awesome. May God touch the life that he wants. Amen. 
Amen. Hey, I showered. Good for you. <laughs> Praying for our nation. Pray for us going through multiple challenges. Yes, Matthew, your, you and your family are in my prayers. Amen. Chris, is someone going to <laughs> pray lifted? Thank you, Lily. Thank you, Lily. Pray for our nation and President Trump. Amen. Thank you, family, even if it's only for a couple of minutes. I know, Crystal, tomorrow, 7.30, God willing, and President Biden. Yes, we're praying for both. I'm not watching Biden tomorrow. Eh, well, some people won't, but you know what? As of tomorrow, I will not make any Biden jokes because God said I should not make fun of my president but pray for him. So I will not be doing any Biden jokes starting tomorrow. But today, hey, <laughs> we're glad you're here, Crystal. God is in control. Amen. Love you too. Thank you, Teresa. Amen. Proverbs 3, 5. Thank you for the laugh, Naz. Love See you tomorrow with Lord willing, Sarah. Thank you. Good night. And guys, if you have time, go watch the podcast. It was really good. It was really good. God bless you. Thank you, Martina. See you later, Art. In a while, crocodile. In an hour, flower. <laughs> have a great night, everyone. Love you. Thank you.